for joining me again. In this video, I want to discuss the post-grad work permit, specifically on how you can bring your spouse on an open spousal work permit. So as a post-grad work permit holder, you're entitled to bring your significant other to Canada for the same validity as your current work permit. Now that can be your common law partner or your spouse. So let's for now focus on the spouse and I'll also mention a brief uh, description of what you need to be aware if you claim to be under common law relationship. So when you submit the open spousal work permit application, the following documents are very important that you include in your application. The first is obviously your partner's post-grad work permit. And for the same validity of his or her work permit, you're going to request the open work permit. Obviously, you're going to also include your marriage certificate. Ensure that it's in English or French, and if it's not, you have to include a certified translated uh, marriage document with that application. The most important part of this application is to include your spouse's employment letter, which indicates the NOC that he or she is currently working. Now, I have clients who've contacted me where they, their partner is on a post-grad work permit, however, their partner is not working yet. If your partner in Canada has not signed employment, he or she cannot apply for the open spousal work permit for you. You have to wait until your partner gets the job offer, and the job offer has to be under NOC A, B, or O. Meaning employment under NOC C currently does not qualify your partner to bring you over on an open spousal work permit. The rest of the document should be relatively easy. It's very similar to the visitor visa. So you should include financial documents, your ties to your home country, a letter explaining to the officer how long you plan to stay in Canada, an invitation letter from your partner, etc, etc. So for details on that, you can also click on our visitor visa videos that we've done. And so you're amalgamating both documents, the visitor visa, if you will, as well as the open spousal work permit. Now, if you're claiming that you are in a common law relationship, Keep in mind, to qualify as a common law partner, you have to demonstrate that you're currently residing for 12 months or more. Now, let's say you resided with your partner for 12 months or more, let's say two years, and now your partner is in Canada and he or she has been in Canada for six months. That's a big gap to be away from your partner and the officer may state that you no longer qualify under the common law definition. So the gap needs to be relatively small and it has to be reasonable. So again, that is subject to the officer's discretion. Sometimes I find officers allow two months gap, sometimes a little bit more. So you have to, re you have to reason with the officer and explain why you still believe you qualify under the common law. Hope this video is helpful if you're applying for an open spousal work permit based on your partner's post-grad work permit. Remember, at Akramian Associates, there's always a way. Thanks for joining me again.